Hello everyone and Assalamu alaikum. This is Introduction to Psychology Part 2 by Dear Knowledge because we have successfully completed the Introduction to Psychology Part 1 and if you have watched all those videos, again I have compiled all those chapters uh, in a playlist and you can uh, go to the playlist side and watch all those videos. So Introduction to Psychology Part 1 has successfully be, uh, uh, completed and from today, we will be starting Introduction to Psychology Part 2 by Dear Knowledge. So, I've already shared the course content with you all uh, on my Facebook page and uh, I've also posted the uh, course content on uh, the YouTube channel uh, in the community uh, site. Uh, you can also uh, get the course content from the description site. I've also uploaded the course content in the uh, description section of this video. So um, today uh, from this video we'll be starting from chapter one which is all about motivation and uh, in chapter one we'll be starting the lesson one which is, uh, in which we'll be discussing about definition and nature of motivation. So let's start with definitions because uh, after studying definition we will also know about different point of view or different opinions uh, or different definitions uh, of different people um, about, from different people about motivation and uh, we will come to know what actually motivation is and how different people have defined uh, motivation. So according to Guilford, a motive is a particular internal factor or condition that tends to initiate and to sustain activity. And according to Butzin, uh, motivation is a process that, uh, taken together, um, energize, maintain, and direct behavior to a goal. Uh, whereas, according to Baron in 1995, according to him, according to Baron, motivation refers to uh, internal process that can't be directly observed, but activate, guide, and maintain. Uh, Award uh, behavior. And then, according to Morgan and King, uh, motivation refers to driving and pulling forces which result in persistent behavior directed towards uh, uh, directed uh, toward a particular goal. So, these were all definitions. Uh, 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 different people define motivation differently. So uh, in a nutshell, we can say motivation is the force that acts on or within an organism to initiate or direct a behavior. Uh, let's start with the nature of definition, uh, motivation. So uh, if we discuss about the nature of motivation, now hundreds of words in our uh, everyday vocabulary refer to people's motives. And some of the most common ones are uh, wants, striving, uh, drive, need, goal, aspiration, wish, aim, etc. Now, many of them can be defined uh, which prove useful to us in scientific study of motivation. Now, the term, uh, the general term of motivation refers to uh, behavior that is um, instigated by needs within the individual and is directed towards uh, goal that can satisfy these needs. So uh, in the nature of motivation, we will start with the motivational cycle. And the motivational cycle include the need uh, after need, we do some striving to uh, and start uh, the instrumental behavior to get the goal. And after attaining the goal, we get a relief. And then again, our next need uh, started, or we start working on uh, on our next need. So this is all about motivational cycle. We'll be studying it in a great detail. Now, need is basically uh, there are three general aspects of motivation, and each may be thought as a state in a rotation cycle for the first leads to the second and the second leads to third which finally leads to the first now if we start with the need uh, it refers to a lack or deficit within the individual and needs are of two types the physiological need and social need now physiological needs are, uh, are those type of need or, or you can say uh, these are because of tissue needs of food water air etc and social need uh, 
these are need for affection, cognition, prestige, and every individual has uh, some or the other need. Now, the satisfaction and uh, dissatisfaction of needs affects affects the behavior, and uh, according to Boring um, and Wild in 1962. According to them, that need is necessity or deficiency of the body uh, due to which tension or imbalance arise in the body. Now, this tension has tendency to initiate such behavior uh, by which the tension or imbalance is released or finished. Now, need or drive are a sort of internal condition or readiness where an incentive is an object or stimulus uh, in external uh, environment. Now, the next uh, step or the next uh, phase or the next stage of the motivational cycle will be instrumental behavior. Now, this is uh, any behavior that is instrumental uh, in satisfying a need or drive for motive. Uh, for example, a small child cries and his crying is instrumental in getting food from his mother. And uh, uh, after the instrumental behavior, the next uh, stage will be goal or you can say incentives. Now, behavior is directed towards goal and when the goal is achieved, the need, uh, drive or motive is satisfied. And if a person is hungry, uh, the goal is to eat food. Now, the last one will be the relief. And after the goal uh, uh, achievement, a body needs are fulfilled and this relief is achieved and there is satisfaction after goal attainment but soon another need is aroused and the circle continues now this is all about the motivational cycle let's talk about the characteristics of motivation now uh, there are different characteristics or you can say it i have included a lot of points uh, that comes under the topic of characteristics of motivation or you can say characteristics of motivated behavior now motivation is an answer to the why of behavior now if you see a person running now you wonder whether he is in a hurry to get away from something behind or to get something ahead and the next one is motivation refers to internal process that can't be directly observed and motivation is an energizer or activator that is it helps in arousing a person uh, to perform now uh, a motivated athlete generally has a better chance to win than an unmotivated one and a person may seem very athletic because of the body structure but to be one has to have motivation which may activate him to become an athlete now motivation directs a behavior now motivation gives focus to behavior so that inappropriate goals are reached and when one is hungry the person needs food and responses and motivation process are generally overt and the behavior that is guided by some uh, motivation usually leads to responses that are observable and motivation is always uh, goal directed and our behavior is uh, directed towards a uh, goal achievement and behavior is driven and pulled towards goals such as a person in great pain uh, longs for relief and motivation behavior tend to persist that is uh, which occurs again and again as the behavior is goal oriented and goal achieving and motivation regulates behavior by initiating it with uh, when it is needed or appropriate and terminating it when goal is or, or goal has reached and uh, it is also an energy mobilization uh, because whenever there is an emergency either threatening or achieving it is seen uh, in the form of extra energy and uh, for example, the animal tries to attain the object uh, with a complete upsurge of motivation. Uh, when the need is excessive, the process of uh, metabolism in the body is also increased uh, in the same uh, proportion and the uh, neuroenergy also increases in the same ratio. And then the uh, next characteristic of uh, motivation or motivated behavior is that variability. 
Now, uh, there are continuous, continuous changes and variations that are produced in motives uh, in the view of the tenement of goals. And motivated person would try and change his way, bringing variability in his behavior to each goal. And the last but not least is restlessness. Now, persist uh, restlessness uh, persist in the motivated behavior. Uh, until the goal is not achieved. And the restlessness exhibits uh, itself in different ways of the fulfillment of some motive and, um, and uh, extinguishes as soon as the uh, that want is fulfilled. So this was all about the characteristic of motivation or motivated behavior. And this was all about today's video. It was all about today's lecture. It was all about lesson one of the part uh, two of introduction to psychology. If you like this video, hit the like button. If your concept is clear, you can also like the button. Uh, hit the like button. If not, you can ask us in the comment section and we'll be happy to help you out. Plus, if you're new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel. You can subscribe to Dear Knowledge. Press on the bell icon so you'll never ever miss any notification. And you can also share the link of this video and the link of this channel with your family members and friends because sharing is caring. Until then, Allah Hafiz.